Hello and welcome guys to a new video. So today we are going back into the pure fiction and we are going to clear the final stage. Um, the pure fiction this time is called an expression of eloquence and basically it's all about uh, follow-up attacks. So no need to worry if you do not own a built follow-up attack character. You can still somehow do this with the flattery cacophony here that turns your ultimate damage into follow-up attacks. So, you know, that works if you do not own a follow-up attack character. If you do own a follow-up attack character, then I highly recommend the first buff here called Blarney. Not only does it increase your follow-up attacks by 50%, it also triggers the, 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 the stage effect one additional time. So instead of just dealing um, this big AOE damage to just, you know, to the enemies just once, you deal it twice. And it is, from what I experienced, quite a lot of additional damage. So highly recommended. I'm using that in both of my teams. Um, yeah, to, to quickly get into the team setup here, if you do own Topaz and Nambi, use them for the, fast ba for the first battle here. Like, this is... They are the perfect character for this for this battle. It, it's it's yeah. <laughs> There's no need to even discuss it. Um, we do have a, an ice and fire weakness in there, and also it's all about follow up attacks. So Topaz and Nambi, number one pick here for sure. I do not own them though, so I have to make use of uh, Herta here. Um, she's been supported by Ruan Mei and Sparkle, and the final character is actually not. A sustaining character, it's Zela. Why is that? I'm going to talk about that during the, the fight. You will see why. There's a good reasoning for that. Um, it is quite dangerous, for sure, but we have to kind of do this for a specific reason in there. A second battle, imaginary and lightning weakness. We do have our uh, lightning uh, duo, uh, Tinguin and Jingyuan, who's also an incredibly strong follow-up attack character. So he's going to fit in there quite nicely. Then we have Blade in there. More follow-up attacks. And Luotra, of course, to, you know, give him some healing. Um, also fitting with the imaginary weakness here. So that is our team comp. Let's get into that. Let's show the enemies what we can do. Get all those buffs up. Engage. And we are starting with a sparkle skill on Herda. And she's going to spin around like crazy, killing many, many enemies. See that? The stage effect, it triggered twice. So normally it triggers once. But we trigger it twice because of the Blarnik Cacophony. Highly recommended. Also, just in case you don't know how uh, how Herta works, she's starting a follow-up attack whenever an enemy gets below 50% HP. So right here, this guy, still above 50%, right? So I'm doing this, he starts spinning. That's how she rolls. Or oh, oh, it spins. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. This guy. Drop him below 50%. Virtual starts spinning. More spinning. Oh, 
So yeah, and this guy is the reason why I'm using Zele in there instead of just, you know, some kind of sustain. Um, the problem with this guy is he gets healed a lot by his um, minions here. And you cannot get rid of them. In this kind of mode, they just respawn endlessly, so... The only thing we can really do here is to just focus him down as quickly as possible. See? They just grow back. So, uh... Kind of sucks for us. <laughs> Especially now when they have the counter buff on. Uh, if I start AoEing with Herta, she's going to get killed. Like, very, very soon. Let's see, what am I doing here with Sparkle? You know what? I'm actually going to do this. Fuck it. That was a perfect attack on her. <laughs> that was really good, actually. Yeah, she's going to be... Uh, very, very dead really soon, but let's get like a, um, a last ultimate in. Oh, nice. That was pretty good, actually. That was not too bad. She did quite well there. Yeah, they are definitely going to heal now though. Which is uh, unfortunate. Oh, they didn't. They all just uh, got the counter thing, okay. What do I do here? Mm. I guess I'm still doing it, yeah. It was her turn anyway, but I think it's still worth it. I hope this guy dies. Yeah, okay, nice. Beautiful. We did it. Boom. What do you mean he's still alive? <laughs> I guess you cannot kill these guys. They are just sticking there for accumulating more points. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm going to be totally honest. I had no idea you cannot kill these bosses. <laughs> I had no idea you cannot kill them. But I guess today we learned. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Which also means yes, I I cleared I cleared those two stages. I got the the 60k points, um, and I didn't even beat the bosses. Like I didn't even get close to beating them. So it's even more interesting to see what happens when you actually could beat them, and you just don't. <laughs> Yeah, I do believe the the second battle here should be a lot easier than the first. I have no doubts that we are going to clear this beautifully. much to say about this team comp to be honest. There's a lot of very strong characters in there. A lot of good uh, follow-up attack damage dealers as well. So there's nothing to worry about really. Already at the boss. to see how quickly the follow-up attack damage gets accumulated here with Jing Yuan and, and Blade. King Yuan, dude. King Yuan. Already past 60 points, a uh, 60 K points. Let's see, how, how far can we get? How far can we get? How many points? Well, it's definitely a new record. Mm, yeah, kill this one. 
boom boom and the last one uh, let's see if we can maybe get one more kill like this guy maybe nah okay <laughs> okay 67,000 points I um, do think we did quite well <laughs> okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this video um, it was an honor showing you how I did it one more time with my, my shitty characters <laughs> but yeah um, so nothing too crazy here let me quickly show you um, like the, the coolest character in there is my, my level 70 herder with like a level 70 four star light cone and some some shitty traces <laughs> some thrown together relics so um, as you can see um, these pure fiction battles especially I feel, I feel like they are a pretty cool addition to the game because um, a lot of the four star characters that we have they are really good in there and it's kind of fun to see because usually in MOC um, even though yeah, there are some good four star characters in MOC of course but you know most of the time they are overshined by um, these five star super powerful characters and it's kind of fun to see that you can clear this pure fiction mode with you know characters like um, like Chinchue or, or Herta you know like like people you didn't even consider back in the day when the when the game came out so it's, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool to see yeah anyway we did it again three stars the last stage of the current cycle and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, maybe some of you got a few uh, tips from out of this video I'd be happy about that um, if you enjoyed the video please feel free to you know subscribe to my YouTube channel maybe even drop me a, a follow on Twitch I'd be very happy about that and uh, even if not, hey, as long as you enjoyed it, I'm happy. I'm a happy man. And I hope to see you guys back to the next video in two weeks, which should be another embassy. Until then, take care, have fun with the waifus, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>